Hello and welcome to yet another video here on the YouTube channel SCF Wargaming Studio. My name is Andreas Norwegian Viking and this is my faction review of Erebor and Dale for Battle Companies. And I hear you say Erebor and Dale but they are not in the book. That's right because they are on this White Dwarf, the November White Dwarf from 2017 where both Erebor and Dale and Gundabad were released. Hopefully, um, either by the time this video is out or in the future, more battle companies will arrive in White Dwarf or future supplements. Uh, we have got confirmation that we'll get at least Numenor and Spiders in the future, so that's a very a huge plus. So, Erebor and Dale is a battle company which sees you having to buy three plastic sets and nothing more. Good. Um, so, the starting battle company consists of two Warriors of Erebor with shields, one Warrior of Erebor with spear, one Warrior of Dale with shield, one Warrior of Dale with shield and spear, and one Warrior of Dale with an Eskroth bow. So that's uh, three models from the Dwarven box and three models from the Dale box. Um, the advancements for the Warriors of, Dale, uh, Warriors of Erebor are two Grimhammers, so that's the third box you need. And for reinforcements, one it's nothing, two to three it's a Warrior of Dale with the All Choice Weaponry, four, five Warriors of Erebor with the All Choice Weaponry, and number six it's a Grim Hammer. So you only need plastic models, you don't have access to horses, you don't have to bother with converting those, and it's all good. A cheap battle company, um, and cool looking models at that. So you do have the makings of a complete dwarf army and um, playing scenarios, especially Dale scenarios from the There and Back Again book. You need Dale Warriors as well, so I really like Warriors of Erebor. Uh, the look of it, the aesthetic of it, uh, having dwarves with spears are quite handy. I think I would like my um, Warriors of Erebor to be all heroes, because uh, I think the ability to roll a six or get that roll to six to get Grim Hammers are better than my Warriors variable becoming Grim Hammers. Uh, although the Warriors of Dale have no upgrades, I think it's better to have them with high fight and high defense for survivability of the heroes than having the advancement rolls on the uh, Dale Warriors. Uh, they do have an armor specific hero upgrade. The hero may re-roll results of a one when making dual roll. So um, it's, it's basically a innate banner and that is really cool. Um, I think I know what Jay did here because Dale has no access to banners in, uh, in SPG. So um, you can you can basically make uh, a slight re-roll if you if you fumble your roll and bosh that roll rolling a one you can re-roll it if you want to. So I, I like the aesthetic of the Dale models. I have always wanted to paint up a Dale army. Uh, sadly, the other Andreas got um, got the army painted before me to use in the scenarios between Dale and Smaug. So, um, missed my chance to paint them then, but I will do in the future, especially after five years when we basically switch sides in the Grand Campaign and I'll be the good player. Then I'll need the Dale Warriors um, to paint up for myself. So tell me in the comments below what you think about this White Wolf exclusive warband. Do you think they will be uh, they will make a supplement with more uh, warbands, including this one, as a published hardback book in the future, or am I just mad thinking that they'll do that? Uh, do tell me in the comments below. Uh, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Consider supporting SDF on Patreon using the link in the description below. And as ever, support your hobby.